Now, look, after those two brilliant performances, Barry, it's pretty much assured that England are going to win the Euros. <laughs> um, how are you going to feel when that happens? Uh, well, I wouldn't read anything into those performances. Two non-eventy games. Um, journalists and some angry fans take them quite seriously because journalists obviously have to write something. I, I'm genuinely concerned, I think, for the first time in my life that England will win a major tournament. <laughs> and if they do, I will probably set myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, possibly in room 629. <laughs> <laughs> Take everyone with you, why not, eh? Uh, yeah, I... I, they have so many good players, you know, Germany aren't particularly good, Spain are a bit meh, France obviously are really good. Um, I had high hopes for the Republic of Ireland, but they've somehow managed not to qualify <laughs> by winning, I think, only two games in the qualification progress, process. Uh, Stephen Kenny, I believe, has just um, left, and that's no big surprise. He, he talked a really good game, but failed to deliver on the pitch. And uh, weirdly, when we, when we did our gig in Dublin, Jonathan Wilson mentioned that he had previously done a sort of podcast event in the same theatre and he'd been talking backstage with Stephen Kenny and he'd been really impressed by, you know, Stephen Kenny talking about just football in general, what he was going to say on stage. But uh, he came out on stage and he also failed to deliver. But I feel kind of sorry for him. <laughs> Because he's hamstrung by uh, being employed by an FAI that is run by absolute fucking morons. Uh, that's fifty one million pounds in debt. That is, you know, has been the subject of. I'm, I'm loath to say because because of the live, live stream, some of the Guardian lawyers are just standing there <laughs> with a shotgun pointed at, at my head. Philippe is bound and gagged back there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I, 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 Irish football is an absolute mess, but I'm, I'm not sure an audience in Brighton well, is particularly interested in it. Well, I mean, it's going to get worse when Brighton sell Evan Ferguson to England as well, <laughs> yes. isn't it, for, for 50 million. Uh, he's our big, big hope, you know, but um, we're, we're kind of like Norway in that regard. They have Erling Haaland, we have Evan, um, and no, they don't, well, they have a couple of other good players. We don't really have anyone else. And, uh, you know, Evan Ferguson is good, but he ain't that good yet. Mm. He's not as good as Danny Welbeck, so I guess that's an issue, isn't it? <laughs> um, Johnny, are you, a, are you a believer in... <laughs> not here, is he? Sorry, Evan. <laughs> uh, are you a Southgate believer? I tell, I, my guess is no. I mean, I, I was. I mean, I, I, thought, I think, I, I feel about, you know, I feel about Southgate I mean, kind of the same way I feel about Keir Starmer. Like, he's, he's, he's clearly, you know, he's clearly, his heart's in the right place, and I think people underestimate how hard the job, you know, that he took on at the start. He's kind of, you know, he's, 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 he brought people on side, he kind of detoxified the brand. You know, he, he, got, he, got, them, he got them kind of in, into a competitive place. And, and now you kind of feel like, you know, he's been there for a while, and you think, I mean, OK, I mean, I, I backed you at the start, but fucking come on now, please. <laughs> like, just... Um, and, you know, he, and he's, he's probably going to, you know, Starmer's actually going to leave, you know, having won something, which I, which I think is a big, <laughs> big difference between them. But, but yeah, I, I, think, I think a little bit of the air has gone out of England, this England team. This, this is like a, a collection of, like, genera generationally great English players. It's like a golden generation. <laughs> it's like a golden generation. <laughs> <laughs> but because, because we had the golden generation and, and they kind of bombed, now, now this generation has come along and, you know, th there was just the right level of expectation, right? They're, they, they're good, everyone knows they're really good, but nobody's kind of really saying, like, they've got to win stuff, right? Well, actually, Henry Winter said they had to. Oh, yeah, but... He like, was on the radio. He said he was on the show before mine on TalkSport, and he said, yeah, England have what, to what, win the Euros. Your, your show. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sidekick. I get muddled up which one it is. Oh, by the way, Southgate hates Henry Winter. Is that right? So, the, the live stream hasn't started yet, right? Okay. <laughs> 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 Southgate, Southgate really hates Henry Winter, and that's why Henry Winter, like, um, started Tony. He inexplicably turned on Southgate in about 2020, 2021, and it's because, like, Southgate kept giving him short shrift in his, in his, in, in his really? interview answers. And, um, and, 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 and Winter, who, who likes, to, he likes to think of himself as, like, the king of the, 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 king of the English lion pack. Uh, he, he, this, was, this was a massive blow to his ego. And so, so he started... 
started calling for Southgate to go, like, really, you know, re really early on. I, I think this Starmer-Southgate thing is really fascinating because, without wanting to get political, but, you know, Starmer's problem is he, he doesn't have the courage of his convictions, does he, right? Whereas Southgate has very firm courage in his conviction that he should back Henderson's lack of courage in his convictions. Yes, <laughs> exactly right. 